Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Unreal Engine Early Access Beta is now here. So for anyone who likes to get into Unreal Engine, today the folks at Epic Games they've gone through and they've talked about some of the development features and also a couple of improvements that will be coming over to Unreal Engine. And right now you can actually go ahead and download these and start testing it. I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right over to the page where you can see the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access and of course you can start seeing some very interesting stuff and with that said let's talk about some key features that was mentioned by the developers during the live stream now one of the major things that you would notice once you download unreal engine 5 the early access version is the ui has changed there is an update to the ui which looks pretty sweet i sort of love this one and uh i think it's long overdue for the ui to be updated and this looks pretty nice and it's quite organized in such a way that if you're coming to unreal engine for the very first time you would definitely love to work with a tool like that now this doesn't look so clustered in terms of having heavy icons here and there it's sort of clean nice and i kind of love this particular one and moving forward, there is also a very cool integration right now. So we already know that Megascan is a tool that you can work with. You can download that separately. There's a bridge version of that. It is quite interesting to see that the folks at Epic Games have pulled the Sketchfab key and actually done the bridge. So the bridge is now integrated directly into Unreal Engine 5. So it is now even easier than ever for you to just drag and drop stuff directly within your UI. So you can just open that up right inside Unreal Engine, drag and drop, and that is super cool. And with that said, there's now something known as Mega Assemblies. And Mega Assemblies is simply a combination of asset that's already existing in Megascan and also a couple of touch-ups that artists and developers have actually worked on. And all of these things are things that you can now work with. Speaking about things that you can work with, they did tease out the Lumen and also they teased out the Nanite. So, and we've talked about Nanite before, we've talked about the idea. It's a very simple, crazy, complex and interesting idea. The idea that you no longer need to worry about how much data you're pulling into Epic Games Unreal Engine. At this point, all of the time you spend in baking, all of the time you spend in transferring your displacement maps and all that stuff, cut down. You can now make those high resolution models and you can throw them right in here. And you can actually see a very good example with the mega assemblies that is now existing with Unreal Engine 5. And this is super, super nice. So in case you're dealing with high resolution geometry, you can just bring all of that thing right inside Unreal Engine 5 right now and actually get these things to work very well. And these things can work extremely well in various cases extremely well in various cases in the sense that you can load up an entire map and you can actually drive this thing now how do they drive these things and not kill your pc for you and uh, kind of give you optimization they've actually created something known as world partitioning now rather than loading the entire map so let's say you have like a crazy kind of map instead of in you know loading up the entire map at once which would burn your pc to death They've actually thought about a way that you can load several partitions and work on those partitions at a given time. And this actually makes it very easy for artists to collaborate and do a lot of things in terms of lighting, you know, tweaking a couple of settings, making your animation, doing some look dev. Several artists can now collaborate and they can work on the same map simultaneously. And there's also this beautiful thing that happens that at runtime, once you start creating stuff and you're moving towards a given part, the only thing that the user gets to see is what has been loaded up while they're working. So what happens is, let's say a user is working towards a particular direction and another user is doing something on a different direction only the map within their radius gets to be loaded up and that would help for optimization on both parties and alongside with this there's now something known as data layers which is now available and this is more like a multiple layer kind of system with various scenes that you can swap back and forth so let's say you're creating a scene for the night time and you're creating another scene for the daytime and let's say in this case these scenes have different different things that they get to see let's say in this case the player has several stuff that they can play with for different scenes you can actually swap these things back and forth both on during runtime and during gameplay so you can do some very interesting things like this so crazy stuff coming from the folks at epic games today with the announcement of uv5 early access and these are not just the only thing that you can see despite these things that we've talked about there is a full body ik that is killing everything right now the full body ik solver is uh is definitely going to make a lot of people stop animating in several apps because right now 
the rigs for player characters can actually correct themselves and this is triggered by the floor below them the full body ik sort of automatically helps them you know correct the foot matching helps them correct the positioning the orientation of the body and all that stuff depending on what they are creating and alongside with this there is a set of cool things coming and one of them is known as the game feature plugin and this game feature plugin actually allows artists to activate some sort of option now these options are kind of crazy there's a whole lot of options that was actually teased out so there's a couple of options that you can activate these things can do with logic blueprints you can actually do with audio at any point in time during your gameplay during your development cycle you can actually activate any of these you know game feature plugin and these things tie alongside with the animation key features that you'll be getting with unreal engine 5 and the beautiful thing is the core game classes doesn't even know that the game features or the game feature plugins even exist in Unreal Engine unless you make them active. So let's say there is a particular blueprint that you want to trigger at the given point. Unless you trigger that blueprint, the game classes doesn't even know that it exists until you trigger those things and make them active. There is an animation motion wrapping feature that is available right now. There's also some updates to the control rig and this is also, you know, something that looks extremely, extremely nice. So huge, huge updates coming from the folks at Epic Games on Real Engine. Tons of updates. A few hours ago, we covered the updates for the website and you know, this actually tells you a lot of things. Epic Games ain't smiling no more as they're doing a whole lot of things and it is just going to, I think, I, I, I actually don't want to use the word, but I think these updates will be crushing lots of gaming engines out there. The fact that this is free, the fact that you can load multiple stuff in, there's the Lumen thing right now, which means you can dial things up and down, no time to bake lights anymore. You don't need those stuff anymore. Baking lights is like a 2020. Right now, you don't even need to bake your lights anymore. You don't need to bake your meshes anymore. You don't need to bake anything. You just drag, drop, lights, you know, hit render button and start doing some cool stuff. There's also something that they actually talked about, which is known as meta sound. Now, this is a this is a this is a new one. Now, all of the things that you can do with the meta sounds right now is just uh, is super awesome. So the meta sounds by default, it's actually some sort of programmable or should I call it procedural sounds that you can work with and you can just link these things up together and create some very crazy, crazy interesting stuff. It's uh, more like a graph sort of thing. So you can plug things together, you can procedurally control how you want sounds to be and these things can be tied to a character, tied to a given action and it is just super awesome. So tons of cool updates and tons of cool things coming over to Unreal Engine 5 and for anyone who would like to check these things out, I'm going to put a link right here that can bring you over to the page where you can see the Unreal Engine 5 early access. And of course, if you're working with the Epic Games launcher and you, you know, you launch the Epic Games right now, you would notice right here that we have UE5. And if you click right here, it's going to take you over to steps on how you can set this thing up and get started with it. The download for mine is going to be coming very soon. And once we get this downloaded, I'll, you know, walk you guys through how these things work and uh, a couple of things that you need to know about it. Something else that the folks at Epic Games also mentioned today is if you're working with Unreal Engine 4.26, all of the you know projects that you've worked on before, all of the things you've created before, you can migrate all these things to Unreal Engine 5. Right now, the early access is free for everyone to use. It's definitely going to be free for a very long time. So you can grab it. But the final production you know, version is going to be coming out sometime in 2022, sort of early 2022. And I kind of think sometime in March early 2022, probably that is when uh, that will be available. So this is more like it. And uh, lots of cool stuff right here. I'm quite excited about this one. And of course, if you'd like to take a look at the sample files, they're also giving out the sample files for these particular scenes. Uh, for free so you can explore with them do some triple a kind of thing and uh, have fun working with this and this is more like it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section huge shout out to the folks at epic games for making this one possible and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update free Friday tutorial Tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.